go. Um, how long has Neighborhood Watch been established? Roughly 1980, second half of the 1980s, at a place in Cheshire, at a small town in Cheshire, that's in the UK. But in America it's been established in similar form for some time earlier. Who is, who is the... Sorry. What brings the idea of Neighbourhood Watch to the table? Ah, well the ideals of Neighbourhood Watch are really to, uh, we say, to uh, look after, after your neighbours. It's, it, it's in the name really. Keeping an eye out for your neighbours, especially those that are vulnerable, and uh, trying to keep them free from crime and help them to report any crimes that might occur. Why was, the why was there a need for neighbourhood watch? Ah, well some areas actually formed neighbourhood watches because they had crime in the area. It may be antisocial <laughs> behaviour, it may be a state of burglaries, it may be any reason whatsoever, and often neighbourhood watches are formed as a social need, even if there's no obvious crime in the area. How far has Neighbourhood Watch came, come from when it originally started? Ah, well in the UK, it came from the late 1980s, and it peaked really strongly in the early, say, 2004, 2005. And then the National Neighbourhood Watch had a massive setback, and after that, it's having to reform itself again now under a completely new guise. There's a new Neighbourhood Watch nationally, building itself up from the ashes of the old one, and it has a long way to go before it reaches the peak that it had in the early, early 2000s. Where do you see Neighbourhood Watch future plans? Oh. A lot of people who are part of neighbourhood watches, they're very happy to look after their own localities. Depends how far you want to take it. Depends a lot on how interested individual neighbourhood watches are in forming groups that can go to higher levels. For example, around here, we're trying to get an overskin, a group called Bringing Communities Together, like they have in Barrow, and I've had for the last three years. And it works on a very, very unofficial basis, but it brings people together. They can discuss their problems and the things that are going right as well. Why are there more? Why are there more needs for members of the community to join Neighbourhood Watch? Well, it's not really a social get together, but. It is looking after your neighbours. If you know someone on your street, for example, who's elderly, vulnerable, uh, on their own, it's really a simple way of looking after your neighbours and your community. What are the benefits that each member have, um, have for when they join? Ah, some can take as little a part in it as they wish. For coordinators such as myself, it's a method of receiving messages uh, through the system which I can pass on to other members of the street. For example, in our street, Ainsley Street and Croton Terrace, we don't have we don't have membership as such. I just take I, I just take uh, I just take messages and warnings which I can pass on to the public in my area. One screening to the public on the go to make sure that they are ideal candidates to become. Yes,